Okay, so we're out for a little night time ride on the uh, Triumph Tiger 900 GT Pro. So, at a minute, I'm on the uh, main beam and I got a pretty good spread of light all over, left to right. It's one of the best headlights I've ever used. That's with fog lights on. Even better, lights up even more the sides, and that's the uh, full beam. It basically turns the road into daylight. Apologies for the wind noise, by the way. It's quite windy tonight. It's a great bike to ride at night. It's got great visibility. Definitely the bike with the best headlight I've ever ridden. I've got a great view ahead. So, as you can see, the uh, switch gear is backlit as well. So you can see all your cruise control buttons, mode, your uh, indicators, and uh, screen functions button, whatever it's called. Home button. Yeah, everything's vis clearly visible on the switch gear. Screen is. Um, Pretty much bang on, not too bright. Well, not too dark. I know I've got a uh, the service wrench on at the minute because I'm slightly overdue by about 100 miles, but uh, couldn't get into my local dealer until. Um, next week, so the bike's going in this Saturday actually, and I'm getting a courtesy bike, which I will be giving my thoughts on. That's a motorcycle crash site there, someone passed away here a few weeks ago. Yeah, so the Target 100, I've got no complaints with riding at light. Yeah, the only slightly confusing thing with the lights on this bike and trance in general, I think, um, there, the so that's the daytime running light, and the uh, green light icon is on on a dash, which you would assume would be the um, main beam. So that's a bit confusing. So now the, this is the main beam, and there's nothing on the dash to say it's uh, illuminated obviously I know it is, I can see but. so yeah, let's get those fog lights back on um, if you want to flash along with someone uh, with your main beam on you have to press the flasher twice there's no there's no quick flash so it's either on or off there's no there's no button for a quick flash um, so you have to bear that in mind when you're riding at night. I've been caught out a couple of times and left that uh, full beam on. Well, there's nobody around. I'll uh, show you what the flashes look like. Don't know how much of that you can see. But they look very nice. I've got the uh, scrolling LED indicators on here and they look very nice they're very very visible more so than standing I think so there you go that's uh, I'm standing up and that's full beam and the fog lights on I've got a I mean I can see well into the distance here the fantastic lights on this bike it's all LED
Let's show you the lights. Off the bike. So there you go. That's full beam with your headlights on. I mean, there you go. That's full beam with the fog lights on. That's your rear light. I'll show you the uh, indicators. Actually, I'll turn that full beam off now. I'll show you that by itself in a minute. That's the scrolling indicators. Ah, oh, someone's coming now. That's the uh, main beam by itself. It's a bit confusing, isn't it, when you've only got the one light on the uh, one side. I'll show you the brake lights from what we can see. I don't know how much that is picking up on camera. There he is. It's reasonable. Let's ride her some more. Yeah, it's definitely one of the uh, one of the best headlights of any bike I've ever ridden. But yeah, I mean, it is it's, it is the best headlight I've ever of any bike I've ever ridden. There's just no competition really. I can see very clearly as far as the road here, but as far as the road goes put a full beam on. I hope this little video of riding the Target 100 at night has been helpful to you. I'm going to do lots more stuff like this so uh, please like and subscribe. It'll be good to have you along. Cheers guys.